Hi folks, Simon here uh, from Sounds and Images and this morning we're unboxing the Rode NT55 matched pair condenser microphones along with the Rycote baby ball gag and Envision uh, stereo bar. So let's move the camera and get started. So sliding the Peli case out of the cardboard box, which I shall discard, you'll see there is a certificate, and this certificate shows that we have indeed got a matched pair of stereo microphones in the box, and that they have been tested. Put that back in the box so it doesn't blow away. The Peli case is made from fairly robust uh, plastic. Slide to unlock. And on the top of the box we have a pair of uh, spacers for between the cable and the microphone, a sticker, and the generous 10 year warranty card to make sure you register your microphones online, and just a compliment slip. They will probably blow away in this wind. So the box is laid out quite easily with the interchangeable capsules at the back, left and right, a pair of foam windshields, thread adapters, and of course microphone clips. The microphones themselves are in a satin grey finish similar to titanium and uh, a rather attractive finish it is too. Two switches, both with uh, one is a pad, 10 or 20 dB, and the other is a high pass filter at 75 or 150 hertz. Capsules just unscrew, and you can change them over between cardioid and omni pattern pickup. So here we have the Rycote Stereo Envision microphone bar. It has a pair of Rycote lyre equipped microphone cradles for stereo recording on one stand. Constructed from uh, resin plastic with the usual Rycote lyres. They simply fold or unfold depending on what you're doing. and. Uh, Folds down small enough to carry to location in the field while you're out and about in a backpack. Gives a good wide stereo spacing. And on to the Rycote Baby Ball Gag. This is a useful idea for a field recording where you want something small that will give you the same wind protection as a blimp at the same time not completely covering the microphone microphone hole and different grommet sizes are available for the NT55 as I'm using here you need the 20mm grommet this is a soft rubber grommet and will take a bit of getting used to to get the microphone in and out as it's quite stiff simply unclicks with a quarter turn and uh, coated with a acoustic fabric inside as usual with blimps simply twist to lock and that should be small enough to take on a flight or travel in a backpack to anywhere where you're going in the woods so a really good small device the wind jammer as you will see in a moment when I get that into the bag comes with a comb which folds flat and has a sliding mechanism to gain access to the bristles. The wind jam itself is uh, lined with acoustic fabric in a nice shade of ruddy pink and is stitched superbly and is very well constructed. 
slightly longer fur than is normal with most blimps and uh, it's quite attractive in its own way. Should certainly keep the wind noise away from your microphones while you're out in the field or woods or wherever you're going to do your recording. All in all, I think the baby ball gag is an excellent idea and an excellent product for keeping wind off your microphones. Um, certainly beats just at uh, eBay bought furries um, because of the cage size. So the fur plus the cage size is what gives you your wind protection. And then quarter turn back onto the uh, microphones on the stand here. And I'll fit the furry to the completed ball gag. As I'm recording this, of course, it's blowing a gale. So, um, yeah, it's pretty blustery with sort of 40 mile an hour winds at the moment. Once this goes on, this should give you a better idea of how they will look while in, while in use. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video in the woods.